Hello everyone. I was going to say the trailer looks great on the back of the mule. I'm glad that project's done and it turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to. I come down this morning, I'll swing you over here in a minute and take a look. Had a couple of trees fall down due to freezing and thawing and things like that. And uh, this one's going to make some excellent dry firewood. And I am still attempting to break in the 661. Uh, I want to get several tanks of fuel run through the saw so I can put it on the sawmill and see how it's going to do there. Now I try to leave this area undisturbed as best I can. That does give us a visual break between the county road that we live on and the upper part of the yard. So we leave this a little bit brushy and things like that down here. But I definitely don't want to leave this tree laying down like this. Uh, it's already pushing over one of our dogwoods. There's no sense in just leaving it set here. So let's get the saw out and I'll swing you around here and give you a look at this. It'll be a little bit of a test to get this stuff drug out of there. But it's also going to be a great maiden voyage for the new trailer here. So this will be the first thing we've hauled on it since we've got it done. And uh, let's see if we can cut this thing out of here and get it on the trailer. I hope you enjoy the video. And it laid that down actually at a pretty good working height for us. A few more items around here I'm going to pick up while we're down here. stuff's pretty thick in here and this is a big saw to be in a jungle like this. I think we'll be all right though. If you guys see me smiling over here, it's because I realize how much power this saw actually has. This is fun. Well, I was mistaken about the species of tree. This is actually a cherry tree.
this saw is smooth. Nothing else you can say about it. Well, as the old saying goes, the only thing we left was the stump. Managing wooded acres like this sometimes can be a lot of work, but boy, the efforts is always beneficial. Granny Jill and I really do appreciate our piece of property and we enjoy spending our time here. And we definitely don't mind to put forth a little bit of labor into it to keep it looking nice. And it does look nice for you guys on the camera as well, we hope. But boy, this trailer turned out fantastic too. And stepping up to the next size taller tires has actually made this trailer tow better behind the mule. So we, we did good work here, guys. It actually even feels stouter. Now if you're new to the channel, we did saw the cedar tree down here on our property. We used a chainsaw mill, cut every bit of this out. This is oak that we used to hold our rails on. So every bit of this was 100% made as far as the wood side of it here on our ground. And great project. I'm going to spin you guys around here and show you a tree I'd like to attempt to mill. This is a black locust tree. And if you have any of these on your wooded property, Take caution, you can see the thorns there. Let me walk you in a little closer. And that is a guaranteed flat tire if it's laying across your road path or trail. But the way I understand it, you can cut these things down and make corner posts for your fence or gates or just in general, bury them for a post and they will last over a hundred years with no treating and I have about five or six of these on the property there's only a couple of them that is straight enough to make worthy milling material and this happens to be one of them and it's putting one of its branches out here in the main part of the yard and across my trail so that's pretty much three strikes <laughs> Now the problem with those trees when you do cut them down is the cleanup. Again, every branch you have to rake the soil back to get all the thorns picked up and uh, the, they can be a troublesome tree. But if they last that long in, in soil, raw like they say they do, then I don't mind attempting to see at least one or two for an experiment. Another tree I want to attempt is the sycamore that's above my head here. I would like to actually mill some of that material and see what it looks like. But we do have a variety of trees here as well as wild cherry growing. And uh, it is neat to be able to go across our property and attempt to find different species of trees and then actually make something from the material. So that, this, this was a great project, just a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. We will get together on the next one and we'll figure out something else to do. Thanks for watching.